This is absolutely Essendon, our round 23 game preview, Bombers versus the Giants. Uh, there is a lot at stake. It's 9th versus 10th. Uh, big battle, basically, whoever wins stays alive in the uh, hunt for the finals and whoever loses, well, thanks for coming. Uh, the last time we played was in round four. Gosh, it seems like a long time ago. I think it may have been one of our initial uh, episodes, but Essendon did get up. So uh, we're looking forward to seeing what transpires this Saturday at 4.35pm. How did you go? Have you recovered from your Dodoro rant? Oh, God, yeah. You know, I mean... Uh... I, I tell you, I've got to be careful because I, you know, got to watch the blood pressure, right? And, um, mm, mm. and maybe I should give you my contraption, mate. That I had to what wear are you for talking the last, about? Uh, what contraption? I had to wear one for the last twenty. Wear what? A blood pressure monitoring contraption for the what? last twenty-four you? hours. Yeah, you're the yeah. most mellow person I know. Yeah, no. Well, I got issues. Apparently. Seriously, I isn't do. that funny I how do. God can do that to you? Yeah. They give you a nice, gentle, calm, mellow personality and go but inside. I'm yeah. burning up. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's yeah. like uh, yeah. it's yeah. like a one-way road. Yeah, to yeah. Wherever. Anyway, yes, yeah, so I had to wear that for the. Uh, so Is that like an last... ankle tag? Is that no, uh... no? But it's like it's. Are you allowed to leave the it's house? It's permanently around your <laughs> around your arm, and it's just every thirty minutes. It's just taking a measurement. Anyway, what does it do? No like... one gives a shit about my. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, well, can we but bring this? Interesting. Talk about it, talk but, about it later. But interestingly, right? the doctor mm. said to me, yeah. he "said You know, have you had any stress coming into your life?" And I said, "Because of your blood pressure." Yeah. Right. He said, "I said Jake Kelly going on the wing." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> true. Oh. Right. Yes, he said. You're the third guy this week I've no. seen with that ailment. All right, fair It's enough. an epidemic, all Only right? Only three? Yes. <laughs> yeah, well, hey, you've got you. a lot to answer for. Wait till he finds out that Jake Kelly's playing at full forward. Yes, um, no. But uh, in, in your defence, I mean, there was a lot of people that uh, resonated with your rant. Their rant, rant. 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 Yes, I've made yeah. it up, Mark. Yeah, like, I've, uh, I've made it. Uh, yeah, like Hugh Grant. I've moved it up. A yes, Hugh exactly. Rant. I've run with that pronunciation. All right. Um, um, they did. But, they liked my ranting. But uh, we we did actually we we did give it a slight edit. We don't normally well, edit our recordings, yeah. but we did we did do that one because it went a little bit Michael Douglas in falling down. It did. It was. It was a bit of a meltdown. So yeah. there is a director's cut out there on the interweb. Mm. We won't we won't say where, but it's 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 it's. It's never going to see the light of day. It's in the dark. I web. tell you, if it does, uh, and it gets out, you know, there could be some people looking for me because <laughs> that yeah, that, I, I that is on the editing floor. The uh, the the. The film has been thrown onto the floor, yeah, and uh, it was ugly. It was yeah, yeah. it was fury at its finest. It was, and it was because uh, you're I'm, really only just getting warmed uh, yeah. up in terms of what you oh, saw. What these guys <laughs> saw on that last video, uh, yeah, that was the uh, that was the kiddies PG version. Yeah. So anyway, was. look, I yeah. do apologise if I did upset anybody about my my in, you know with my Dodoro rant. Um, <laughs> I mark. swear that today we're going to be very positive. We're already th three or four minutes into this video, yes. and we haven't even talked about what we're here to talk about right which is the um yes the, the game the this is the this is it isn't it yes do, do or die this is this it's is the hill now, it's the hill that we have to climb it is and if Heading we don't up. get to the top of it, it no. there's no tomorrow so no, that's right so, it would be <clears throat> i mean it would depending on your point of view it would be nice to go into the last round and still have a heartbeat i think well it's you just, might you know, not with the uh, oh, blood yes, pressure well, thing yeah true be well, careful I'll let, what you wish for i'll let, I'll let you know what the diagnosis <laughs> is i've got if i'm not here you'll know the defibrillator's been been installed in case if we have any sudden sort of settings or yes. strokes or well another close game yeah. might just tip me over so uh, but touch wood don't want to uh, tempt anything but okay so last time we met uh let me just paint the picture please because uh that was round four uh, the oh, early God. days stringer we were just in the our flush of youth back we, then, were, we, we were we were yeah. we were we were we still had a lot of optimism about us yeah we, turned, we turned nasty pretty quickly things, didn't we things have gone a little yeah. dark uh over the last few weeks but stringer kicked four goals six in that game four goals six probably no string up wow. this week but we will well, come to that maybe, we maybe. will come to that yeah. Yeah. Um, and if you recall that was the game where <clears throat> uh, Heppel was a sub but he didn't oh, last long right. as a sub oh, yeah. because there was the yeah. hit on Wiedemann and our theory was was that Heppel <clears throat> You know, organise that hit on Weed. That's right. Because he, he came he on. He took the weed out very early on. And may I add, hasn't missed a game since. since. Then. Right. Well, he so, did us all a favour taking Weedman out that day. Um, well, and and he, he had the foresight that mm. it took us a few more <laughs> rounds to realise that the weed was not the answer. Uh, so, so yeah. he's gone on. So. 
the, what I take from that is don't mess with the heppel. He might seem like nice guy, all kind of oh shucks kind of demeanour, yeah. but uh, he hasn't missed a game since. He's got a black heart. Yeah. Dyson, but he uh, yeah, well, anyway. So he's still there. Wiedemann's gone, yes. and uh, and uh, actually, Dyson he might be there uh, next year as well. I think we, we'll have to come back to yeah, that when right, we okay. in our in terms uh, of his contract talk. groundbreaking yes. uh, episode coming up at the end of the season where we right. we look at uh, who's going to be taken out behind the school shed and shot, mm, right. and who's going to be kept. So uh, two, okay, so the the Giants are coming off. We two... still haven't talked about this game. Yes, yet. I know. I'm about That's... to. I'm, I'm about to go to it. Uh, the yeah, Gi- we've got to talk about <laughs> it because okay. our audience retention is yes. about it, seven and a half it, minutes. It, it so. Is. We've got two minutes to squeeze this it, out before they all walk it out does, the door. It does drop markedly. It does. Uh, what, why is that? Why well, do you go for seven minutes and then decide I've had enough? When all the good stuff's always at the end. Yeah. Well, they don't, they don't, they don't know that. Well, yeah. that's because they, so we they need stick to, around. We need to bring the good stuff forward. So here's we, the challenge. We, this we is, never do. This we is this do. week's challenge, all right? right. Uh, you know, regardless of whether you've got the kids screaming or the wife nagging you or whatever mm. it might be, mm-hmm. the boyfriend's telling you, you know, he, he, he's, a, yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, you need to watch for at least 15 minutes. That's everyone's task for this week. Right, right? okay. 15 then. minutes because I'm going to put a te- I'm going to make a little test. Oh, you're going to put so a little Easter When we get to the 15 egg. minute mark, right. I'm going to say a magic word. Right. right, okay. And I want you out there, you know who you are, to <laughs> write that word in the comment. You can talk about anything you like, but you must <laughs> include that word in the comments. There'll only be two people saying that word. All right, it's well, going to be super embarrassing. Then we all know who super, drops out. Super embarrassing. Right? Because all those yes. people who don't mention the word in their comments, we right. will know that you dropped out of it. Uh, all right, so that's right, it. Is okay. that the video? All right. we no, know. No, 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 it's not. Okay, so the Giants are coming off two losses. They uh, took a thumping against Port Adelaide over in Adelaide, yep. and they lost to Sydney. But before that, we're in a bit of a hot streak. We are, are coming off two wins. Now, Whoa. not the biggest of scalps, but a win is a win. Ooh, a win is a win. Yep. So we are meeting, but the... Mate, the, the Matildas could beat the, North Melbourne the, and the West Coast the, Eagles. The, the bookies, and we'll, we'll, we'll get to my multi, but the bookies yep. have the Giants as very firm favourites. And uh, as we know, they're generally right. Now... We are coming in early. Now, why? I mean, we have been doing it on a Friday. We are coming. We're doing it a bit earlier because we we thought, let's just speculate a little on what these possible inclusions, if any, could be. We had the late change last week of Baldwin coming in. Mm -hmm. Will he stay? Um, And there's all this talk of the the recovery from injuries. Shall we start with Stringer? Then, well, they, then go to the yeah. then go to the others. Well, it's like the cavalry, isn't it? You know, they're they they're coming, and uh, it's a bit like the um, the mm-hmm. riders of Rohan in the Return of the King, when all seemed lost. When the when the uh, more, is this Lord of the Rings? Yes, right. Okay. And the well, riders of Rohan. That. People oh, don't say well. Return, Return of, of the, the King. King. Yeah, from, that could be anything. So that it could be an Elvis Presley special. <laughs> That's true. It could be. In fact, it might even be that. Mm. But yes, it's the the number of players we have uh, maybe available for selection this week does remind me somewhat of the cavalry arriving at the last minute to save the day. Right. Uh, but the question is, if you were to bring in the, these various players, all of whom are a little underdone, mm. uh, is that more of a uh, risk than keeping them out of the side? And I think that's the selection dilemma this week. Yeah. Well, that's like Sam Kerr. Does she start? Sure. On, hey, does she stay on? the bench you keep her for the last half an hour of power yep. or do you uh does she play well, from the first she's year? had her two games of sort of putting the toe mm. in the water right so i'm pretty sure yeah. she will start in tonight's big game if you're watching that's the chili yeah well, uh, okay. but anyway but also, um but yeah mm. i mean look guys like uh for example a draper hasn't played since the uh since we beat Carlton, I think it was round 13. Right. Uh, so he's missed a lot of football. Yeah. Um, and then you've got the likes of uh, Shield has been... Uh, mm-hmm. he, he had a couple of games back in, but was was not very effective. Yeah. Uh, Caldwell's only been out for a week, so he should be fine to come back in. Right. And, and Setterfield's missed pretty much most of the season. So, But he's been playing in the AFL, He did right? play in the, the VFL last Sorry, week. Sorry, the VFL, yeah. Yeah, so, so you've got five guys who would in any other situation be in our starting 22. Do we bring them all in at once? I doubt it because Brad Scott has not shown an inclination to make sweeping changes throughout the year. Right. I can't see him doing it this week. So there may be a couple, but um, I would be uh, I would be surprised if any more than that. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, so um, 
Yes, sorry. Okay, so, so, so what's your gut feel? If you had to choose, knowing that he did that late sneaky change last week with yeah. Baldwin, what's your, what's, your, what's your gut feel? Uh, how yeah. hard is he going to try to win Well, this game? I mean, uh, it, it's, it is a really tough one to call this. Uh, personally, if he's ready, and I'm not sure he's 100% yet, I'd, I'd love to see Draper come back into the side. There he is right there. There he is. Uh, he's nodding his head in approval at that. And uh, I think Caldwell would come straight back in. He's only been out for a week, so he should be fine. Right. Uh, you know, I mean, Setterfield's missed a lot of footy. He did play in a VFL game, but they had the bye last week. So he might need to have one more run in the uh, in the VFL side. Right. Uh, it, it, it's a really difficult one to sort of put a finger on this week. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, you know. What do we need against GWS? Their midfield is going all right. Uh, yeah, got Toby Green, who uh, he kicked two goals last time we played, but you know you could yeah. almost think he if he has a nice day out, it's four goals for him. I, Himmelberg, I, sure. Look, yeah. I mean, where they're fantastic, and honestly, they have got an incredibly good midfield, and they're a big midfield too, unlike ours. Um, oh yeah, that's you Tom know, Green. Tom Green, Green yeah. yeah, he's a monster. I think he's fourth in the AFL for a contested possession at the moment. Mm. He averages over thirty disposals a game. Uh, he's an incredibly good player. How tall is he? He's 192 centimetres. Right. So he's five, six centimetres taller than our brigade of yeah. little people. He's one um, of those unicorn midfielders, like the Bont. He's fantastic. And uh, then, of course, they've got Cornelio, Kelly, uh, Josh Kelly, and uh, Lockie Whitfield yes. as well. Yes, yep, he so does all right. There's, there's a really you know strong midfield that we're going up against. Uh, and up forward, of course, they've got their little their little mini maestro in uh, Toby Green, yeah, yeah. who has been uh, just amazing this year as the captain of the side. Yeah. And I think he's now fourth on the uh, AFL goal kicking list. The Coleman Medal, yeah. Uh, 50, 54, 54 goals, yeah. I think he yeah. has. So he's a threat, always a threat. Yeah. Uh, look, you know, GWS are a better side than they've they've shown this year. I think on paper they're a better side than the... Because the we're on even the on the... We're even we're, on the they side, are. Which would suggest yeah, it's yeah. an even game, yeah. but it certainly it doesn't feel like but it. But we've got to be able to hold them in the midfield. I say this every week. The midfield, of course, is the key. I think it's the key for any game. Yeah, it uh, is. If you, can, if you can take ownership of the midfield, control the flow out of the centre of the ground, you're just always going to be in a better position to uh, to, to, to win the game. So for, for us, you know, again, coming back to selections... If Setterfield was fit and ready to go, I'd like to see him come in because yeah. physically he can yeah. actually go up against some yeah. of these GWS. I agree. Needs. I agree. Needs yeah. to come in. Um, so I think, and the other guy in there that's worth keeping a note on uh, or watching out for is their Ruckman. Kier, uh, is it Kieran? I think it's Kieran Briggs. Right. Who has been quite a revelation this year, and uh, you know he was really good against Port Adelaide. I know they lost that game, uh, but he is a definite threat in the ruck. And uh, they also have some some good small forwards, pressure type forwards in our old friend Brent Daniels and yes. uh, Toby Bedford. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, don't yeah. don't dismiss GWS no, for a minute. No, 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 no. Our Put form, Brent Daniels down for two goals. Our form has Easily. been patchy. Theirs has been <clears throat> patchy. It's on their home deck. Uh, so they'll be playing in front of their 16 incredibly uh, loyal fans, fanatic yeah, fans. Yeah, uh, it'll be a so, sea of a puddle of orange. Well, there'll be a little pocket of it yes, somewhere. Just, I don't know. They yeah. don't get that many people. What are they called? That orange team. Mm. That Remember that uh, lovely lady who was commentating on the football? I can't remember her name. I don't right. want to say it because that we might get sued. Team. Oh, really? Yeah, she couldn't remember the name of the side that she was actually oh, really? commenting on during oh, really? her television. I think I, I, think I know. She I'm referred to say. them as that orange team. I'm not going to say it. Um, so oh, there you have it. That's, so there's a bit to so, look out for in terms of who we're going up against. Okay, so yeah. we... We need to bolster this forward line. I don't know. How I just want to the, say a word. Right. Sorry, I'm so sorry to interrupt. Oh, you want to say, say the word? What the magic yeah. word? Oxymoron. There you right. have it. Okay. Oxymoron. Is that? Yeah, I gave is, it to you twice. Are you, are, you, are you saying something about? Yeah, us? there is a hidden yes. secret. Is that, I think I think you are. Aren't so you? back to the yeah. game. Okay. So our forward line, because you know that that's where we need to uh, apply some attention. You know, do you risk? It's it's the end of the season. Mm. Do you risk a stringer? Because we need to, uh, to to bolster it somehow because, you know, yeah, we know what, how things have been playing out over recent weeks. That won't work this weekend well, against yeah. GWS. They've had the wood on us in the main over yeah. the last uh, 
uh, well, certainly like going up there. Look, I mean, Stringer is the last guy you'd want mm. to rely on when he's coming back from injury. Yeah, he true. he normally takes two or three weeks yeah, to, to get warmed to up, get warmed yeah, up after a, after an injury. So yeah. I, personally, I wouldn't mm. be picking him. I think the combination up forward is going to have to be pretty much what we had last week. I suppose the issue is. Do we keep Snelling in as a sub or is there an opportunity to bring in um, another player to sort of play in that small forward role? I can't see that happening, honestly. Um, but, yeah, the, the, the challenge now, again, is for us to try and bring Peter Wright into the game a bit more, have him getting out on his own, less surrounded by 15 defenders, and uh, see what he can do because yeah. you know, each week since he's come back, it just doesn't seem to get any better. The, the forward 50 entries are not great. And he's not using his size, his you know body to move himself into more advantageous yeah. positions. Yeah. So that, that for us is a real challenge. Uh, Langford's a real threat up forward as we've seen. And I'm pretty sure he'll continue to just kick his three or four goals. So uh, so we'll see what happens. Oh, because last week he said he was due for a quiet one, and I hope now that well, you he got said three. that. He got three. Yes, no, he did. No, yeah. no that's right. He, did, he, he had did, five he the two weeks before he did, that. He did, so, oh, he was he right did, on the money, did, right? <laughs> but, oh, gosh, we need him. I mean, honestly, yeah. you, you know, that, that goes without saying. I, I don't think <clears> we play uh, well up there. No. Uh, you know, no, I, I really, we don't seem to. I really am. We don't seem to. Uh, a little worried about this game, but you know what? I'm I'm not going to be negative this time around. I, no, I, I feel that this, you've been taking your medication. We've had our two down weeks. When I say down, we won, but mm. yeah, they've been pretty flat performances. Mm. I I suspect the bombers are going to somehow find the fourth gear this week, and uh, you know we'll we'll give them a real All right, run we'll for their money. Save the final final I will. prediction. I I'm going to I'm going to quickly anything. flick through the multi. Uh, last week we got four out of five selections. Uh, Merritt was tagged, yeah. so we uh, uh, fell short with uh, his number of uh, disposals. Uh, this week, uh, I might even go. I might even go six selections this week. All right, I'm cranking uh-huh. it up. I know. I know what you're thinking. You can't even get five. Why would you add another one? Well, the thing is, we don't yeah. even know who the team's going to be. Yeah. Well, I, ho- I hope you you thought through this. Because people's never, lives I, are at stake here. I never do. They're, they're not at stake, well, they all right? This be, is you just, know, you know, Honey, I've just... got 5,000 left in the bank. As you... <laughs> I'm going to go and put it on Joe's Multimania. Oh, please all do right? not. You've got a problem. Please yeah. do not. I never want to hear that in the... Uh, or right. see that in the comments. All right. Gamble Very quickly. responsibly. Yes, indeed. So uh, I, I'm thinking as follows. Uh, 20 plus disposals. I'm going four players. I know that's risky. Even just saying it, I feel like an idiot. But Heppel... Hobbs, Redman, and Martin. Heppel, Hobbs, Redman, and Martin. Martin. Yes, for, for 20, 20 plus, plus disposals. I know. That's Heppel, a bit risky. Hobbs. It's a bit risky. But I'm assuming that we're going to do okay in this game. That's yeah. possibly well, yeah. a, uh, a bad assumption. And yeah. then I've got Merritt for 25 plus. Okay? Sure. And Well, uh, he, he was a little down last week, wasn't he? Uh, well, well, he wasn't down, but he was heavily mm. tagged. Don't you think they'll apply the same tagging pressure on merit i mean it clearly works because when he has been tagged yeah he's dropped out of the game quite noticeably he has but last week i think he only got two possessions in the first quarter and i'm i'm going to make the assumption that that doesn't happen again that he won't be tagged that 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 even even if he does even if he is he'll manage to eke out 25 possessions okay fair enough well he nearly got there last week didn't he yes 22 22 possessions last week 21. 21. Yeah, 21. Right. And, we, and we needed him to get 25. So yes, he, came right. home. he came home he fairly did. strong. Yeah. Okay. So they're my selections there. And Langford for two goals. And that gets us to... Uh, I was going to add in... Do a, you want no, to no, do a drum roll? No, that's enough. I think it's a, it's a price of... Sorry, seven, so just repeat that. $7.50. So you've got Langford for two, two goals. goals. Yes. So that's, that's just five. Uh, no. Oh, sorry. Merritt was the... Uh, the okay. One, so that's two, six. three, four, five. Yes, that's right. Yes. Okay. Merit for 25, and then four players for 20-plus disposals. That's Heppel, Hobbs, Redmond, and Martin. Okay. All right. And uh, what's that. the payout on that? Yeah, around $7.50. No, we need a bit of a winner. Yeah. Yeah. We do. We're, running, we're starting to run out of cash. Yes. Uh, and, and we got yeah. the, Well, yeah. Sorry, go on. Yes. So there you have it. Well, I don't think we need to... Uh, I mean, if, no if, need if, to if, any of those, if any of those selections are idiotic, feel free to jump in, uh, but I'm not changing them. No, well, I wouldn't. I think once you've put it out there, people are already down at the TAB. Are they? Filling out the little card, you know, as you do. I believe you can get apps these days. 
Funny that. Uh, so anyway, that was an interesting preview. It wasn't the yes. deep dive analytical thing that, you know, Jimmy Bartell and Matthew Lloyd do. Right. When they stand at the screen. And oh, yeah, but they've got fancy studios with screens right. and they've got the special sort of do they digital talk? markers. We don't have... That'll be next year. They don't, going talk, well. they don't talk about their once blood, we, blood pressure. and Once we get a sponsor, that's all. Yeah, I know, no, that's right. They don't do blood pressure talk. Well, so we, yeah, we, we, we're heading towards the numbers that might generate a sponsor. I, I had a quick look at our analytics. Oh, did you? Yes. And, Are we still uh, skewing? Uh, we're very, very heavily <laughs> leaning towards men right. between oh, the it's... ages of uh, 35 and 50. And uh, that's great. We've got 97.5% no. of our audience is male. 97? Are you sure it's that high? It is that high. Oh, really? So, ladies, okay. don't be shy. <laughs> uh, we've, we've, never, it, we've never done well it, with the ladies, no, we to, be haven't. Fair, to be it's, fair. It's definitely the lack of eye candy, which yeah. is uh, contributing to that. Well, don't uh, look at me. Isn't there a filter that we can use, something these days, to sort of... Uh, Turn know? us into... Uh, well, everyone does that on Instagram, don't they? Yeah. It's all filters, isn't it? it well, is. we, we, we need one. Simon... No, he's busy. He just yeah. never responds. No, he's, um, he's keeping the bailiff. Uh, so that might help. Okay, so we've done the uh, we've done the yeah sponsors. Well, yeah, well, I, I don't know who we'll get, but uh, but can yeah. I just uh, also to help us to get to that, please, uh, you know, show some appreciation and uh, subscribe if you're not. Uh, because there's so many uh, benefits and rewards for subscribers. Oh, it's just going to... Like, uh, have, you, uh, have you started eyeing off a, uh, a new car, have you? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's like American Express, you know, membership has its privileges. Yeah. And uh, we will personally respond to your comments and quotes and what have you in our comment section mm. and make you feel a part of our to. family, our community. We try to. Our burgeoning community. Because we are building a great, a great community. We, we get amazing comments. Once again, thank you to everyone that does comment. You've got some people that uh, comment every week, then you've got those that just lurk in the background and they just come in occasionally. You're all you make very them, much you make them appreciated. Sound like, you know, they're a bit odd lurking in the background. Yeah, now, well, I'm a lurker. I'm, 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 You're I, a big time I, lurker. I like, to, I like to lurk. I think we should call, <laughs> should. It, call it uh, a wrap. All right. Okay, we all can right. Go on. That'll, that'll do. So all right. thank you very much. And, no wonder uh, people don't hang around to the end. Good luck to the mm. uh, Matildas yes. tonight. Good yeah. luck to them and good luck to the Dons. It would be nice to stay alive for yet another week. Even yep. though it doesn't look great, we remain hopeful. I say the Dons by five points. I'm going to go the Bombers by 26 points. Oh, and I really? cannot wait t to front up to that Collingwood game and hey? smash those bars. Who are you and what have you done with my mate? He's gone. He's dead. It's right. Mr. Positive Boy here. <laughs> okay. So anyway, go Bombers. P PB. All right, go Take the Dons. Thanks See again for watching. Really appreciate it. Thank Bye you. Bye for now. See Bye. ya. See ya.